Coming at you live from DNHQ in beautiful South uh, Pasadena, South Ten, South Pasadena <laughs> Studios, whatever we're calling it. I don't know, man. It's opening day. I'm excited. This is the Blue Heaven Podcast. <laughs> opening day edition. And it's a special day here because that is not Doug McCain. That is our good friend Noah Cameras. He's pitch pinch hitting tonight for D Mac. So give the people what they need. All they right, need your I'll best D Mac. Uh, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? <laughs> back here and it's a special day because it is opening day of the 2020 i spent a lot of time with dmac but yeah, no we- i am gonna do my best to fill in for the <laughs> person who cannot be filled in for uh, i don't know what i'm trying to say <laughs> cannot be, so, hey there's enough money to fill in anybody yeah, you want i uh, think these days but guys thanks for hanging out with us i'm real frg on twitter and instagram that guy is at noah cameras on twitter make sure you give him a follow we got at noise by noel running the board today uh cody will be back next week and we could all make fun of him and uh do all that kind of stuff but hey it's opening day the dodgers are playing meaningful finally. baseball we're gonna be here with you guys for about a half an hour before uh before all the other festivities plus we have a farmer's market we got to go play yeah, around that but <laughs> drop into the comments let us know where you guys are representing dodgers nation tonight let us know the area codes all that kind of stuff and give us your, your predictions we've dropped a few predictions videos on youtube over the last uh, 24 hours so check it out subscribe youtube.com so dodgers nation tv hit the bell leave a like leave a comment it really helps out the channel a whole bunch we're going to try to get better at replying to people more in the comments things are just really really uh busy for yeah. all of us all the time but let's get into some of your comments here yeah. hang out as much as we can while we're going to be here adrian's in the comments saying evening gents adrian's checking Good in on evening. youtube cindy facebook says let's go dodgers we got um orlando saying all right all right all right <laughs> needed that pre-game coverage we're going to yes, try sir. our best first time first time we're doing a live stream together i think second right? second yeah, that I don't one know. time dmac had covid oh that's yeah. right he died that one yeah. time um, came back though. Came <laughs> back, back back alive john checking in from 95242 which is a zip code i want area codes are easier <laughs> that fool neil casimoto yes, checking in from the 808 chris 562 norwalk whittier my old hood find some comments yeah we got uh someone uh, Ro- roman checking in from brisbane australia oh, brisbane australia right? that's awesome jonathan listening from hawaii Appreciate that. A few hours that. earlier over there. Let's go. Let's go. Eliza checking in from Utah. A lot of excitement. 7-10 start for your Los Angeles Dodgers yeah. against the, can we call them the hated Diamondbacks? Yeah, they're going to be an intriguing team this yeah, year are. for sure. There's a strong chance they could find their way to becoming the number three team. I, hey, yeah. maybe even find a way to a, a, a playoff berth via a wild card berth. Anything is possible in baseball. Very intriguing, very good team. But let's get into some of the stuff we want to talk about. Hey, the official opening day roster is here. Not too many um, surprises on it, except for one major one. 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 And it's bad news. Friend of the show, Ryan Pepio, opens the season on the the 15-day IL with an oblique thing. I don't know if some people noticed it in uh, a couple of the games in recent memory, but he he saw him kind of you know tweaking and tugging on his left side but left oblique injury uh we just heard from him a little bit ago in the the dodger clubhouse via dmac who is at dodger stadium today doesn't sound like anything too serious sounds like they're they caught it early enough they're trying to get him out there hopefully maybe just missed the 15 day minimum yeah i mean it's a huge bummer for pepio i really mean, he said it's a lifelong dream to be on this opening day roster start game number <clears throat> five on monday night now unfortunately that gets taken away but he did seem like he was in pretty good spirits he said he's still excited to be out there tonight you know lining up on the chalk and watching his teammates play but it's such a bummer for him but fortunately the dodgers do have michael grove who's kind of waiting in the wings dave roberts said it was a very tough competition between the two of them could have gone either way yeah so you gotta at least feel good knowing you do have a solid replacement there but already a bad start to the injuries for the <laughs> yeah. ro- i mean the team as a whole but also the rotation with tony gonsley you know on. it it's funny the last couple of weeks i've kind of started talking myself into or, or uh, the more we talk about it the more i'm like you know the bullpen scares me because of 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 you know the thinness in yeah, the depth the thin. outfield but i felt really good about yeah. the starting pitching <laughs> then all of a sudden you're down a gonsolin you're d- now down uh, a pepio 
That gets us one one step closer though to yeah. Gavin Stone's season at some point. Who is now Oklahoma City's opening day yeah, starter? Yeah, congrats AAA, to so. Gavin, a friend of the show. Friend Gavin of the Stone. show, Gavin Stone. Mm-hmm. Nastier, was it nasty changeup? Nastier, nastier than a porta port- <laughs> port- <laughs> potty. <at> a, <laughs> nastier <laughs> than a porta potty at a music <laughs> festival on day three. Oh God! Yeah, I don't know. But I'm you know, uh, it's it's good to know that with with Grove, we've seen him before. He's more importantly, he's seen this already. Yeah. He's gone through this already. Uh, he was essentially the the unofficial number six starter for the team to end the season yep. last year. So he'll be fine picking up two or three starts uh, to, to open the season, uh, which was always going to be a possibility. And and he's got to run with it. And, you know, luckily, you know, your guy, Andre Jackson's in there. I love Andre. So he's going to be some Andre Jackson. He's going to be a long reliever. They, they got some depth. They'll be okay knock on desk no more injuries <laughs> along the way yeah they, they've had more than enough injuries this spring they got they got a, a loaded il right now but let, let's hope that we can go into the new season and get get that health bug back on yeah. our side as the kids say fr fr yeah fr as, as the kids say you find a couple more comments uh we're gonna get it more into the roster again we'll, we'll go through everybody on the roster a little bit and then we'll uh look at the the today's matchup the lineup uh, should be a, a fun game yeah. at, at Dodger Stadium. But, yeah, we uh, got a Darren checking in. <clears throat> also, Australia, Gosford, Australia. We got Trace Hayward season in saying, "What's up, fellas? I'm hype. Go blue hype. from Casey Colvin." Eric's checking in from Buffalo, New York. So uh, we got Dodger fans all over. We got some Texas. I see Utah again. Got Dodger fans all over excited for this opening day. It's been a long off season. It has been yeah. a long off longer season. Longer than it was supposed to be yeah. when you end up getting bounced in the yeah. uh, in the first round so of the playoffs. It's nice to finally play a game that matters again, that we can think about not the past, but officially look towards this season because Did you know? That the team won 111 games Wait, last year, what? And that they will likely not win 111 games they this year. They won 111. That's insane. That must be some sort of record or something. <sighs> All right, let's look at a little bit at the roster again. No big surprises outside of that one change um, in the outfield. You got a bunch of dudes. You have Trace Thompson. So you many. have David Peralta. You have James Outman, who is in the starting lineup. We'll get into the lineup a little bit more uh, in a bit. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember if I said Jason Hayward, but Jason Hayward's yeah, in there. Chris Taylor's going to be in there. Um, on the infield, the infield is probably the strongest looking part of the entire team right now with uh, Will Smith, Max Muncy, who had a great spring, by the way, OPS over a thousand, yeah, looked really good. good, looks locked in, getting ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> he's my pick to click. I got Max Muncy going yard tonight. That's first, pick. I'm not saying he's going to be the first Dodger home run. I'm just saying he is going to go deep tonight at Dodger That's Stadium. A good pick. Uh, J.D. Martinez, of course, is in there. He's your D.H. Mookie Betts. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He's uh, he's in the lineup. Uh, he's on the roster. Freddie Freeman as well. Uh, pitchers, no huge surprises. Yancey, Bickford, uh, Gratterall, Ferguson, Andre Jackson, where we talked about, Shelby Miller, and Evan Phillips, along with Alex Vessia on the relief yep. side. And then you have your starting five with now Grove taking – uh, Pepio spot who is taking yeah. <laughs> Gonsolin's spot and it's bad. Julio gets your uh, opening day first start. Time. So let's look at the lineup here. Mookie, Freddie, Smith, Muncie, JD Martinez. You got David Peralta, JP. old enemy, new friend. <laughs> good, uh, good nickname. <laughs> we'll line up um, fun. Miguel Vargas, James Outman, uh, Miguel Rojas, Julio Arias. You nailed it. You, you called the lineup to a T. It's not a bad looking lineup no. at all. It's not the lineup we saw last year because no. no, Miguel Rojas, as good as of a spring he had, he's not Trey, not Turner. Trey Turner. Surprisingly, he's also not Corey Seager. No, what do you like no. about the lineup? I like it a lot. I like that Dave Roberts is really leaning into the left right and really trying to get those lefty outfielders against the righty Zach Gallon, who's a really, really good pitcher. I like that he's rotating right, right, left, right, left, right, left, going back and forth. Um, I'm excited to see, obviously, what James Outman does today. I think everyone's excited to see what he does, but I mm-hmm. really like that David Peralta pickup. It's kind of growing on me more as the spring has gone on. I really think he's going to have a solid year. Um, so I'm excited to see him playing a lot of against a lot of righties this year and yeah. definitely. I, to me, the weirdest thing is, even though I knew it was coming, is not seeing Chris Taylor in that lineup. It's just so weird to think that <laughs> that's how far we've gone, where he's now in a platoon, only playing against lefties. I mean, he'll play some righties, but like opening day, he's not in the lineup, which is kind of a weird thing to think about that we're already at that point because, you know, t- last year, Chris Taylor signs the four year, $60 million extension. You have high hopes for him being a key piece of this team. And now, a year later, he's not even in the opening day lineup, and David Peralta is in there instead. So it's yeah. weird. But I did see that coming because Dave Roberts said he's going into this platoon for now. So 
interested to see how it works. I do think my one kind of prediction for this early season is Dave Roberts really leans into pinch hitters. And when a lefty comes out yeah. of that bullpen, he's going to fill righties into that outfield and vice versa on days lefties are pitching i really just see him kind of working those matchups a lot this year yeah i mean definitely on the platoon side time. more than yeah. anything yeah no, no I, for sure i i feel less on on um the pinch hitting I side know, I but maybe see it. i just i, I just yeah. feel like i mean not like today but like i feel like this season he's really going to be leaning into okay like i'm switching now i'm switching my outfield from left to right they do have three lefties with jason hayward too so he can really yeah. flip flop as for much now. as he wants for now for um, now yeah so i, I don't know, i just I, I feel like he's gonna have some fun with that to really do his best to get these guys playing time because there's five outfielders fighting, uh, fighting for two spots every game. Yeah. He talked about that. Dave talked about that a little bit uh, before um, or after Friday or Wednesday's uh, final tune up, not Wednesday, third Tuesday's, Tuesday's final Tuesday, tune up in Anaheim, uh, just kind of divvying out the playing time. Yes. James Outman is going to get the lion share as Dave yeah. likes to say the lion <laughs> share of time in center field. He's going to be your main guy out there. Uh, you'll probably see a little bit of Jason Hayward in there to spell him mm -hmm. uh, uh, here and there against uh, right-handed pitching. But for the greater part in the outfield, you're going to see um, Trace Thompson and CT versus left. Yep. And David Peralta versus Wright, which, which is, is what you expect. Which and is, it's forcing yeah. Trace Thompson I, yeah, to kind say. of battle his demons <laughs> of say. the reverse mm -hmm. splits I, that I, happened last what, year. I know. It's, it's, it's almost funny that he is the designated guy to be in there against lefties, considering he had, I think it was 120 eight against lefties or something like that and he hit 308 against right it's like it's almost funny yeah that he's now the designated left-handed pitcher hitter very very my dude is very very much on the hot seat yes, i'll tell yeah, you right he's, now he's, um, you've been saying he's on the hot seat for five months and you're right <laughs> about least. that um, uh by the way guys uh we we are going to do our usual pre-game call your shot so let us know who you think is going to go deep in tonight's game let us know what you think the final score is are the dodgers going to win are they going to lose is there going to be a rally meteor? Is it going to be rained out? Because I don't, have you seen, we're on tarp gate right yeah. now. Luckily, it's, it's lifted. The tarp Everybody has been lifted. Everyone's and their grandmother. It. Every single video person in picture. the world has posted the tarp. At Do we get it, guys. Yeah, there, there's a tarp it. at Dodger State. Luckily, Dave Roberts was there to help. I don't know help. if you saw those videos, but Dave Roberts has been helping out. Um, I do <laughs> see a comment here. Where's Daddy Dougie? Daddy Dougie is currently at Dodger it's Stadium. Working. He's doing his work. I'm filling in as best as I can um, because... You know, he has the good content coming in from Dodger Stadium right yeah, now. Yeah, stuff going up right now. We just got uh, Dave and uh, I think Pepio Pepsi. interview will be coming out uh, mm -hmm. any second if it's not uploading right now, literally as we're live. Yep. We don't know. We don't keep communication <laughs> very well with Doug. He's he's hard to, you know, he's hard to wrangle. He, he's in his, he, when he's in his zone, you got to let him do. But I did get to ask him who I should start in our fantasy baseball lineup <laughs> between James Outman Important. and Jared Kalanick. Don't worry, we're going with James Outman. The legendary James Allen. All right. Uh, Eric Berta wants uh, the Dodgers to trade for Tim Anderson. He's playing right now on TV. Yeah, we, he's right behind that fool, Neil. Yes, sir. Boom, he's on camera, sort of. What's going on? Wave to the people. Uh, there, he, there he is. Wearing that Dodger shirt. Uh, Dodger, <laughs> Dodger gang ganged yes, up right sir. there. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay to wait on the Tim Anderson yeah, on, I mean, on the trade. I'm, I think I would rather see an outfielder. You just go save Brian, Brian, Reynolds. <laughs> Brian Reynolds from Pittsburgh yeah. before we go and save Tim Anderson. Oh, hey, why not both the more the merrier? Yeah, got some comments here. Carnivorous lunar activity. <laughs> I got words. there. Uh, once he says Outman goes yard first at bat. Danielle Finn over on Facebook says Outman hits it out. Trades Hayward says I need James Outman to go deep. So Twitter goes ballistic. A lot of James Outman predictions um turbo duran says of course daughters are going to win on opening night yeah i mean they, they, they do it a lot homer they <laughs> they do win on opening night a lot he also says he can't wait to see the new addition dodgers play i agree a lot of a lot oh some, yeah some new faces in that lineup jd martinez david peralta um, yeah, I mean, I, rookies, I feel like there's, there hasn't been enough love for J.D. Martinez. He, hasn't, he, didn't, has, yeah. he didn't really do too much during the spring, mm -hmm. uh, still getting used to it. He says he's a, notoriously a very slow starter. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen it before. I, I remember way back before, before these kids were born, way back in the day when the Dodgers signed J.D. Drew and he started his Dodger career like over 25 or something like yeah. that. And everybody just thought the world was ending. <laughs> um, he ended up getting into like 70 games that year and still even starting like over 25 had like 15 home runs before he hurt himself and i think he had an ops over 900 or something uh, like that that's so all you ask for <laughs> how you start doesn't matter we've seen it with jt last year that's he started say, out yeah. like like 
like torta, and then he came <laughs> back. By the way, shout out to JT yeah, two hits two for uh, the Red Sox today. Yeah, good for him. Not not a better debut than Cody Bellinger had over in Chicago. He went over three. Just I mean, vintage yeah. Cody Bellinger. Trey Turner was okay. Uh, JT so far the the best performer of those former Dodgers. He did. I, I, I mean, I'm I'm bullish on him at uh, at Fenway there. Yeah, that big green monster. Uh, <laughs> Isabel's having fun. She says, "Suck the Padres and suck the Lakers." Uh, hey. They're not my type, so I'm yeah. gonna say no. <laughs> uh, and and Isabel says, "Dodger won't be good this year." I don't know about that, Isabel. Grammar won't be good this year. <laughs> I'm gonna have to um, disagree with Isabel on that. Uh, one. Juan Ramirez says, "Muncie and Outman going deep." I think you already hit that one. Uh, I did it. Yeah, that one, oh, that's no, a new one. So we got thank that you. in there. Yeah. <laughs> Carnivore Sooner Activity says D Mac goes yard too. Oh, you know how he's going to do. Yeah. He's going to find a way to, to run on the field. You've seen those biceps. <laughs> you can hit one out. Steven uh, Munoz says, "Why aren't we drinking some beers, fellas?" Well, I mean, he you know he's not really a drinker. I, you know, I, I dabble. You know, I dabble. I could I could if I needed to. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be here a while. We're going to watch yeah, the game here. Bring you all that fire content on uh, DodgersNation.com. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Uh, to our newsletter there to get all that sweet, sweet content up in your in your your DMs. Yes, Tatino is asking, is it still raining out in L.A.? Uh, currently, no. That's no. pretty clear. Nice blue, sunny sky right now. Yeah. So we are ready Gonna for Dodger baseball. Going to have a ball baseball. game. We got the new lights that yeah. they're really hyping Sam up at Cashman Dodger Stadium. Sam was hyped about him, so I'm hyped about him. It's more important than Fernando getting yeah. his number he retired. He said it first, though. So. Yeah, no, it's, it looks like we're going to be good. It looks like we have a nice blue, sunny sky. No rain delays on opening day. I, I don't know about the Padres. I know their game got pushed back five and a half What's hours. What's going on with that? What's that going on with insane. the Padres? 1 Come p.m. On. start time now to 6.40. <laughs> and then I think what they did secretly is didn't tell that many people and then they wanted to get a bunch of people there yeah. early. So they're so like, hey, like, look at how many fans yeah. want to be here. It looks like Cincinnati. I'm, I'm on to you, Seidler. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, I'm just saying. Gary's checking in from Korea. Yes. What's going on, Gary and the Lee family? Don't worry, you, Doug's not here, so we will not say foul language. <laughs> um, Gary asking, would there have been a rain delay if the game started at 1.10 p.m.? No, no. Uh, it was, no, it was never really. It was like drizzling was a drizzling. little bit, but it was yeah. never like coming down hard. I think, I think the tarp was more of a. A safety, a yeah. safety target. Gotta keep that there. field looking pristine. By the way, Dodger mm. Stadium looks looks beautiful. It does. Considering the grass uh is relatively new. They just swapped it out about a what month and a half ago, yeah. maybe less than a month and a half ago. And great. there was a bunch of rain that came through LA yeah, all through. It was like a storm <laughs> all, the last few weeks. All through LA. So uh, you know, or all through March, I was gonna say. So shout out to the D Dodger Stadium grounds crew. Yes. But um Jared's checking in from Indiana. Let's go, Julio. By the way, what do you think? Let's give us your uh, give us your predictions, and then we're going to get out of here. We got about ten minutes left because we don't like going very very long yeah, on these I like shows. Doing it, yeah. uh, again, we got Julio versus Zach Gallon. We got a Good pretty matchup. decent matchup yeah. here. Um, what are the uh, the Rius predictions here for opening day? I think he's going to go six innings. I don't think they're going to push him up too hard on the pitch count. I mean, it's, we know how Dave Roberts operates. We know it's his first start of the year. There's no, I mean, he came off the WBC, so he definitely has ramped up a little bit. But I'm going to say six innings, probably in the high 80 pitches. I'm going to say two earned runs, eight Ks. That's, that's what I'm looking at. Ooh. He's going to have that seven K, seven K. So not bad for his first opening no, day really, start. No, really, really solid. And possibly his last <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Jared Meyer says, Uri Ace going to deal. Any concern in your purview here as a, as a well-known Dodger expert no, no. calling into SC shows about yeah. the Los Angeles <laughs> Dodgers? <laughs> uh, last couple of starts, Julio, not very good. Yeah. The numbers weren't exactly sexy during his time pitching for Team Mexico and WBC. Any concerns about Julio coming out of, uh, say, a an uneven spring training. I'm not too concerned. I, I know you're a little more concerned, so I'll let you answer after. I'm personally not too concerned with Julio. I, I do think, I mean, he, you know, it was an interesting ramp up to get ready for the early WBC. That's a lot of pressure to be out there with all those fans watching. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about Julio. I, I, I don't think he's going to have the same, I think, yeah, what, 2 one six last year? I don't think he's going to have mm -hmm. the same two one six ERA this year. I mean, that was pretty insane. Led the league. Um, but I'm not concerned with him. I think he knows how important this season is. It's a walk year. It's a contract year. The better he pitches, the more millions of dollars are going to go on his paycheck. Um, so I think he's really going to lean into it. I think he's going to kind of fight to go longer into games, have a lot of innings pitch because he wants to show other teams that his arm can handle longer innings or at least show the Dodgers that he's worth more. So either way, I, I see him having a good year knowing that, the again, the better he does, the, the more money 
he's Cha-ching. getting at the end of this year. Yeah. And I think I'll, with him and Scott Boris, it's all about the money. I think I, I heard somebody talk about it. it's like, uh, you know, the first few starts or however these starts go, like it, it just changes that first number. Yeah. Uh, that one or his, two. <laughs> his, his, his at least a seven figure yeah. deal is going to be worth or whatever the hell. I don't know how to do math very yeah, good. No, I guess it's good. a seven, uh, Six, eight, eight, eight figure? figure, nine figure, nine, 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 nine figure. Nine. Nine. We're, We're nine good at numbers. Figure. Cesar Renteria says six inning pitch, three earned runs, five Ks for Julio. A little less bullish than you. Yeah. I think that's. That's a decent yeah, pocket. Like that one. Hey, don't sleep on these D backs. Don't Good sleep team. on Corbin Carroll. Really that good. kid is going to be something that, special. That full Corbin. That full Cor- unless he isn't, you know. Yeah. Sandro, my friend Sandro's in the stream. He says Dodgers win 4 2. I love Sandro. He's a homer. I like that. Very much appreciate it. Deborah Young game. in the stream. Hi, Deborah. How you doing? She says, let's go, Dodgers. I agree. Uh, Steven says uh, Dos Palos in California. So that is where Steven is checking in from. Um, this is the, the 209, mm. by the way. I just knew that offhand. <laughs> yeah, Ma- <laughs> Matthew says two great young pitchers. Won't be easy. Let's get to Gallon early. Yeah, de- definitely want to get Gallon out of a rhythm early because if he kind of gets Make him a half in, gallon. Oh. Thank you. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if he gets locked in, uh, he could definitely, I mean, he could go late into a game with his Cy Young caliber Sorry. stuff. Um, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I do get to him early. Um, yeah, uh, St- Steven Munoz saying we want Shohei. I always like the, see that. the Shohei ones. Um, Turbo Duran says Dodgers roster is better than the Diamondbacks. I do agree with that. But the Diamondbacks have a sneaky good roster. I, I, sneaky good. I think the Diamondbacks go like around 500 this year and probably like just miss out on a playoff spot. So yeah. it's going to be a good four game series to start the year. A pretty decent test for the new Dodgers and a good look at the new Diamondbacks. Great look. Thankfully, not like a nine out, nine or 19 straight games like we saw with yeah. the, the Rockies last yeah, year. Yeah, that was a, a fun <laughs> way to end the year. <laughs> Uh, so who have we, have we given you, if you given your, your pick to click, who's going yard again, I say yeah, Max Muncy is dropping a homer today. I, mean, I do like that Muncy pick uh, just for the sake. Didn't you say Freddie and, uh, the thing we did yesterday? Somebody said, so. I don't know. I don't think. Let I, us know who you guys think is going to go yard today. I don't have Freddie hitting a home pick run. Pick your clicks. Freddie's going to get like two hits, but they're going to be like a single and a double. Yeah. I guess um, that's decent if you're into that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do kind of want to say Muncie, too. I just I just see it. I just see Muncie. Go- I'm going to go Will Smith. Oh, Will, agreeing with Eric. Eric says Eric uh, and me. Will Smith, Will going, Smith going deep. deep. I see him going left center field, just crushing one two run bomb for what Will you got? Smith. Noel, what about you? You know, I'm young, so I'm going to go with the youngster. I got Vargas with that, with that home run first game. With the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Miggy Vargas. I don't know if his family's going to be there like like that one game last year, but if his family's there, he's going to he's gonna crush one for sure. Ooh, that, would that would be huge. That would be huge, huge for the kid. Awesome. I yes, love uh, Miguel Vargas. I, I saw somebody earlier in the stream uh, giving giving some love to uh, to Outman, uh, having having James hit one out, man. I would love ah. to see James Outman hit a home run that would be, tonight. That would I am so high on James Outman, and I think I mean everyone's so high on James Outman, but how awesome would it be for him to just continue raking at the big league level? Six for 13 last year. Yeah. Keep, keep that going right now. Yeah, I, I, I would stop the presses. I don't think he's going to hit 462 for the rest of his hey, career. Hey, you never know. Someone has to. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone has to. Yeah, yeah. He's the greatest player in the history of all I baseball. Mean, Doug McCain has pointed out, our very own DMAC, that he went to the same high school as Tom Brady, and they're both late round draft picks. So he's not saying that James Outman is a Tom Brady of baseball. But he's not not saying. You know, you know, Doug said it because it came up like two days later on Sportsnet LA. Facts. So, facts, facts. <laughs> Fr. They're big fans of ours there, so I'm sure you guys might see part of this show in their <laughs> pregame show. Hi, Hartung. Love you, bud. <laughs> uh, CJ stinks says JD. He needs to remind us why he's here. I like a, that. a Just Dinger bomb. That from would be Just an Dingers awesome would be bomb. Huge. I mean, he only hit what was it sixteen last year? He had forty three yeah. doubles, so the power Can't wasn't as there last doubles. year. I'm good with doubles. Yeah, exactly. And doubles are great for JD, but no, it'd be nice to see him go yard and kind of just very nicely ease into the post Justin Turner era with yeah. a, a red hot JD would be a nice start to the year. Deborah Young is agreeing with the Mad Max going yard. I we like got a couple. One. 
Mookie Betts. Giants suck forever. Hey, That's the number four. As Doug pointed out anyway. on Twitter, they're on Mookie. pace to go 0 and 162 this, this year. Is, this is true. So. So things are really, the, the wheels are falling, <laughs> falling off. In off. San they don't get Arson Judge, yeah. and all of a sudden, an 0 and 162 season. But Giants suck forever, says uh, Mookie going deep. Cesar yeah. says uh, need Freeman to go yard. Fantasy ba- baseball points. So, okay. You know, that's where you got to really, that's where, it, that's where it gets tough. Mm. Like when you're playing a guy who's playing against your oh, team. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I think the guy I'm playing against has Freddie Freeman. But hey, I'm, I'm, he also has Julio. He has Julio Oof. going today. But I don't worry. I'm, I'm rooting for Julio no matter what. Diesel562 says Mookie will have the only bomb tonight. Carnival Sooner Activity says glad it's opening day and glad to be back with Dodgers Nation for another season. Here's to a great season. Hey, this is season. Oh, wait. 18, 19, <laughs> 20, 21. 22 this is year six That's of me math. doing this stuff that is good math so let's go leave a like for um you know my sleep schedule yeah no in, sleep till brooklyn no sleep bah, nah. <laughs> bah, bah. the kids know what i'm talking about no, uh i'm gonna i'm gonna totally butcher this but uh elisheva probably El- got El- that El-Sheva. wrong outman will hit a homer tonight That'd I'm, be fun. I, I would. That'd love be that. good. I think. I think the entire stadium would love to see James Altman hit a home run tonight. Karen Everson Sooner Activity says, "Leave a like for Diane Schroeder." Let's definitely leave a like. Why so would what's you your not? That's not hard not to, you know. Final score predictions, and then we're gonna get out of here, guys. Drop your final score predictions. What do you think? What are you feeling? How do the Dodgers win? Because I know you're gonna say the Dodgers are gonna win. I'm not gonna not say they're gonna. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go six three Dodgers. Um, six three Dodgers. They, yeah. Six, six three Dodgers. That's final a solid, answer. That's a solid guess yeah. right there. I think it's going to be a little bit more of a pitcher's duel. I think it's going to be a real quick game. I think we're going to have a few annoying things with that pitch clock thing. Uh, probably, potentially, you could see Julio get a little frazzled. He has not pitched much with that and clock. He pitched so without far. it in the WBC. Yeah, and that was not so there in the WBC. That's the last he thing spent you the need. full, basically, the full two weeks with uh, yeah. with his team in WBC. Yeah, I got. I, I I don't know. I'm feeling like a three two, a mm. four two ball game. I think it's gonna be a little lower scoring. Chewy says five four. Danielle, uh, both these coming in from Facebook says five two. Dodgers. Deborah Young, three one. Good guys. Ozzy seven. For uh, high Dodger. scoring game, you know what I would really love to see. What was it the uh, is it the twenty nineteen? Yeah, a few years ago. When they yeah, just, they hit like seven home uh-huh, runs or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that was tied fun. the opening day record. Ke- I think Kike hit two of them. Tur- Turbo Duran six one. Who a shutout from Diesel five six two four nothing. That'd be some. That'd be some ace Julio Uri yeah. ace stuff if we have a f- four nothing game. I, I I am interested if it's. A close game. I mean, I'd love to ask you, who do you think is coming out in the ninth Ooh, inning? A good if, uh, I want to ask you guys too. Let's say it's a uh, one or two on run game. One. <laughs> <laughs> say it's a one or two run game in the ninth inning. Oh. Who is coming out to get the I mean, those I guess it depends on, on the nice slate of hitters. I yeah. guess it depends on who's already gone. I, I don't know. I, I think in this game, you want to win it. Game one is a must win because it's fun. People are out there. The new lights, drone show tomorrow night. Evan Phillips is yeah. your closer for tonight. I like that one. I have Evan Phillips coming earlier in the game if it's tight. And hey, I'm not there's anything wrong with that. As long as everybody has a good time. I'm going Yancy. I'm going Yancy Almonte, getting the S at I, the end of I I would game say Yancy, and I think it's a good pick because it's one of the few options that yeah, could do not, it not for a, sure. Not a lot of them. Uh, but if it is uh, if it is Yancy, like uh, he just. The only thing that concerns me is that he hasn't he didn't pitch that much. Yeah, his ramp up's spring. not really there. He was kind yeah, of annoyed right. by the slower. <laughs> but at the same time, like he's the guy who has, you know, the the best second the like the second best stuff yeah. in the bullpen currently. Yeah, and he has I a swing and like. miss stuff for a ninth inning. Bruce Dar does not have that swing and miss yeah. stuff. Bruce Dar is for sure gonna I mean if, if they need him, he's gonna pitch tonight. Bruce Dar K Pass. I just Bruce Dar K Pass. I don't know. I feel like Evan Phillips was coming in in a in a jam earlier, and then Yancy yeah. Almonte is getting the S. For game number one of 162. Let's see. Uh, Carnivorous Sooner Activity says Evan Phillips, the closer. A couple of them. Eric says uh, Evan Phillips. Uh, we got uh, Elise Sheba, Elisheva, however I said I the first one. I'm just going to throw as many of them in there as yeah. I can to try to get them right. And love Alex Vesia's uh, intensity. It's going to be a little tamed, by the way, this year because of. Yeah, he's not going to have as much time to, uh, to work do his, up his, yeah, his, work do up his dance, old routine. Make so. a little love. We got a Yancy from Trace Hayward. I like that what one. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. We got some. Needs more. Blah, 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 some blah. love for Noah. I got a little Noah love. Thank you, oh. Gary. But I, 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 I am only doing my best to fill in for DMAC, who's a 
as as good as it gets here at <laughs> Doug the is desk. great, but better. Yeah, small you're doses. not wrong about <laughs> not wrong about that. Hey, we you know we still this is spring training for us. We probably should have done a couple more of these along the way to get used to it and you know learn each other's jumping in points and cadences. Yeah, I interrupted you a few times. I, that, like I'm right fine there. with being up interrupted. <laughs> I just don't like dead air. Dead yeah. air is bad time. If you want mm -hmm. dead air, you can go listen to AM radio. There's a lot of dead <laughs> air and just random sound effects and all that kind of stuff filling up hours of of time. <laughs> Uh, Mia Woo! says, congrats, James Outman, on the center field start. I agree. Chris says, the real winner here is a new deep-fried cheesecake slice at Dodger Stadium. I'm not going to lie. I really want to get uh, I get familiar with I that. Bet you, I bet you Doug tries it tonight. I Ooh. bet you Doug sends a picture. Now, nah, Doug's there to work. He's a, he's a true <laughs> damn professional. So you guys make sure you're following at DMAC yeah. underscore LA to find uh, whatever the hell he's doing at Dodger Stadium tonight and follow this, this is where I put us right there. Follow at Dodgers Nation on Instagram to see whatever the hell he's doing tonight because anything you can see at uh, Dodger Stadium is going to be from DMAC. But that's about it for this show. Uh, we're going to do more of these. We're going to be here. We live here. This is 110studio.la. If you want to work here too, uh, recording your podcast, you can. 110studio.la. It's not .com. It is .la, which can be confusing the for city some. that we live in. LA. Die in LA. <laughs> it's the all right anyways thank you for the comments thanks you for hanging out with us and all that uh we'll let you know probably further in advance the next time we do these but uh we'll figure out a schedule on them i am real frg on twitter and instagram that guy right there is at noah cameras on the twitter that is at noise by noel follow noise by noel on, twitter on uh and instagram give, give him give him some gang signs <laughs> some <laughs> gang signs <laughs> Dumbass. Thank you for the comments. I already said that. Follow us on all the places and the things and uh subscribe while you're here. We'll see you next time. I love LA. Bye. We don't do we don't do that here. We just don't. <laughs>